Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Off. The Taurus Orb has been found. So, we have now ran around and found everything in here. But as you may know, you can actually just refight these things. So I picked up one with courage, which is metal oriented, which means that I can do that now. Oh my god, it's three points of damage. Short, which will guarantee kill them. Because they're weak to that element. I love how simple this game's art style is. So yeah, I've already been down all these hallways, you can see. But I can reliably always get these three specific specters every time. I also now have this. Which can poison the guy. Which will only very slowly hurt him, you can see. Yeah, you can see that he's not going anywhere anytime quick. That said, the poison will be useful on bosses, just because it'll help me keep up the damage. Alright, I think that's everything from out of here. We've increased Libertor's powers dramatically. And now we're just getting into random battles. It's so, it's almost jarring to not have like a big, like heroic tune. Cause like, like legitimately, it's a little disheartening. Like you don't get a feeling of like, yeah, I want it's just next. Which is exactly what the game wants you to feel. It's, got a way of basically like sticking inside your head just like no you're not here to have fun you're here to do a job and the only part of that that actually matters is how much you kill silver flesh Just you guys, pity. Hey, all right, we leveled up again. Two luck tickets. See, so yeah, I have um, a bit of insight into this game. I've spent time on wikis and forums. Uh, I have no idea why luck tickets are the way to heal your characters. I kind of like auto mode. It's very simple. Switch is now on off. Get it? It's like the game. Ooh, big boys. I love them. They, they're so chunky. Fat specters. Smoke resistant. So you can see that it's like, it's a pretty typical RPG, as RPGs go. The story ends up being very subversive and strange, and the world is downright freakish. Like 
like the thing that just says battle time off to the side, like, yeah, that, that is what we're doing. It's a very simple way to um, have the battles just with their own little, hey, we found the way out, but we're still going to go explore. But yeah, I really like how all the battles happen in that one weird screen with the color palette of whatever area you're in determining it. Like you'll see later on that um, uh, the different zones will uh, affect it as well. Like, for example, if the zone is all red or yellow, then this background will be red or yellow. Because we're underground in the mines, it's all purple. Isn't that neat? But yeah, I love this color scheme. I really love the way that this game handles color. I mentioned earlier how I don't think that the characters are all white. I think they're colorless. If that makes any sense. Thank you, Le Beto. Also, yeah, this guy's name is Le Bateau, just because he's the batter, but this is a French game, so. You can call him the batter, but, you know. That doesn't mean I can't call him Le Bateau. Alright, got another level in the party. Ring a ding ding. Oh yeah. <laughs> the characters are starting to pile up, aren't they? Gordon. <laughs> what I'm saying is the average player doesn't need all these complicated and tedious dialogues. Should be more action and fewer questions. Who are you? <laughs> I'm Zachary. The digital items merchant necessary to every video game. I'll often find myself in places you're going to visit before you. Enough talk. I'm not one of those protagonists you have to listen to for hours. Why not let me see the color of your credits? So, Moloch's meat. Harold Bat, we actually already have one of those. Audacious symbol, we have one. So, while we're here, a Nicholas tunic. Nicholas was a saint. Um, radius epidermis. A radius is just a piece of a circle, and epidermis means skin. An aura is, you know, a glowing halo of light or something. And Nicholas was a saint. I believe Harold was as well. So yeah, the batter stuff is all named after... Saints. So this is Zachary. You can also see Belial's meat is the biggest cure. Abaddon's meat is another big cure. Moloch's meat is a poison cure. So all the curative meats, all the curative items are meat of specific demons. As for what that means, I'm not entirely sure. How, where did you come from? I come from the smoke mines. But how? That's impossible. Not a single lamp works in there. You can't. You can't. Faith guides my steps. Faith? My mission is to purify the mines. But it seems the phantoms are particularly numerous. Spectres. Where am I here? Um. Oh, yeah. You're at the plastic administrations of Shachihara. North is zone one. So this one's really weird. Our work consists of filling in forms. Afterwards, we package them and wrap them with string to send them to the courier service. Do 
There they ship the packages, and in exchange, we receive parcels full of plastic. It's a lot of liquid plastic that forms our lakes and ocean. Then there's solid plastic used to make various objects. So yeah, that water, the reason it's like that color is not because it's just the weird art style. No, the world is actually this color, I think. And yeah, those are lakes of big liquid plastic. <laughs> it's an essential element, first among the four elements. Without plastic, the world would be limitless, and people would keep walking and walking without ever stopping. Which is a weird way to look at it. But but you hunt the specters, really? Yes, I'm purifying this zone. The specters, I know where they come from. They all come from the postal service. The postal service? That's where we take care of sending the packaged forms. Problem is, uh, nobody can remember the floor where it's found. So, uh, yeah, every room, every floor here is actually a room, and it really does go up this high. As for how that works, I'm not really sure. And the background wavers in and out either because there's no atmosphere up here, or I don't know. By Jove, you again, you are decidedly everywhere. One could even believe you were following me. Yet your footsteps have not deceived you, for you are in a place where you could certainly use sacred blows from your holy bat. Perhaps you're already aware of this, but it happens to be that the floor housing this administration's postal service is haunted by ectoplasms. It would be most judicious to find the story where all these intangible monsters arise from post haste in order to slay them. But it could be this task is too arduous for your narrow mind, in which case I might perhaps be able to provide you with advice. Some help would be welcome. Open widely your ears and listen well, for I will not say this twice, not even it's the most pathetic, please. In one of the four rooms on the ground floor, the employees inside seem to be trained under particular directives. Addition, if there was a choice to be made, I would choose the lower case over the upper case. That is all. Thanks, Jackass. Form 285, stamp 10 to... Oh, did I find it? Is that the first one I went to? So you can see that in this one, they're all saying the wrong ones. Well, they're all saying different ones. Whereas in this room, the room is organized differently, and they're all using one, two, five, eight. There you go. No one. And he says I would take the lowercase above the uppercase because floor is uppercase, but stamp is lowercase, I believe. I'm the batter. Where are the phantoms? I'm very afraid. Help me. So yeah. Um, this is what happens whenever they get, uh, they get too scared. Their heads explode like that. Maybe it's a suit that has taken control of his brain. Strange. So yeah, somehow we have stairs up, but we're still on floor 10 to 58. Something strange is written on this form. First version. They lie six feet under, surrounded by hot metal and liquid plastic. Second version. They are eight and they have long beards. They watch what's happening from their high silver spheres. A soul big insect whose manable spit meat. Fuck. 
Oh, let's boogie. Yeah, we got weird boys now. Burnt, an employee of Zone 1 in pure and poor health. T. Burse, flying ghoul with bad intentions. Yeah, they're not so tough. The burnt ones, at least. There we go. Oh, man. This is a game that makes me passionate about game design. There are four, each one attributed to an element. They protect their respective crystals. Uh, access to the secret elevator is forbidden. Did I say secret? I must pass. Really, I, I, I think that's uh, impossible. Unless you have the code. That's not the code. Everyone's got to take their turn. Perfect. Last version. There are but two in the secret zone. So, you may have noticed that all of those things was weird. Oh, fuck. All those things contain numbers. So, six feet under. Eight guys on their silver spheres. Oh, fuck. I forgot it. Um. This one's two, because it's the final one. Um. Fuck. Uh, a soul one. I think that was... Understood. Last one is two. Okay, so it's six, eight, blankety blank, two. Did anyone ever read? <laughs> this, is, okay, this is super dumb. Four. Okay. So four is four. That should be easy to remember. So it's six, eight, blank. Six, eight, one, four, blank, two. Ever read click clack moo cows that type <laughs> I just had a flashback to it it's a book where cows get a hold of a typewriter and write smears about the farmer who's in charge of them fifth version okay five like fingers on a hand their lungs produce primordial smoke So it's okay. So it's six, eight, one. Oh fuck! Four was four. Five was five. And this was two. So yes, code is exactly correct. Oh how? You must not pass. I don't want to die. Sorry, fella. You've been bonked. I'm going to Alma. It will be nice. Ooh, a lot of you guys, huh? Auto. We got an eye, cool.
director's office. So this is a pretty good place to cut it off, especially since I ate up time by fucking up that puzzle. Mm. So I've been Alfred. This has been off part three. I hope you guys have a nice day. I'll see you again later. See ya. <laughs>